Boom, you looking for this? <laughs> Welcome back to Boom Shot. I'm Kale. This is Colby. Yes, sir. And Thor Love and Thunder just continues to release the, the TV spots. And as you know, we are here to react to it. So let's let's waste no time. Let's yes, go ahead sir. and jump right into it starting now. So I promise to destroy the world. Ooh. Ten days. Ooh, 10 days, dude. That's so crazy. <laughs> dude. Oh, whoa. What the heck, dude? Dude. Yeah, classic Drax. Ooh, ugh, ugh. I did not like that. Ooh, that He's was a back. new shot, dude. He's back. Dude. That was a uh, that was a really Thor in that last shot, dude. Yeah, it really was. Dude, that was a sick shot. The shot at the end or yeah. whatever. It's kind of like the... I mean, it probably won't be in the movie. I, you know, kind of like the <laughs> Avengers Infinity War. The, um, the Guardians shot. aren't even in this movie. Yeah, I actually one of our one of our friends. If you go back and watch uh, the Spider Man No Way Home reaction, the guy that was in that video, he was telling me the other day that he doesn't think that the Guardians are going to be in it, but like fifteen minutes. I, mean, I could see that they're definitely. I think what's going to happen is it open up. The movie will open up with I guess them. Yeah, like, I think maybe they'll be in the first quarter or third. I say they'll be in it at the beginning and the end. That's what I feel like. I feel like they'll be in the beginning. He goes on a kind of little personal journey. Then he brings them back like to, yeah. to fight Gore the God Butcher, I guess. Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen, too. Because I feel like that uh, red carpet scene we reacted to, I feel like that was at the beginning. Mm -hmm. With the uh, Oh, yeah, that was definitely... That had to be the opening scene. And then, yeah, but the way he talks about... Uh, building a team again yeah it feels like that's gonna have to happen later in the movie yeah for sure and, and it kind of feels very similar to thor ragnarok but hey look if they stick to the thor ragnarok um storyline here kind of like the same type of movie i'll be okay with it dude yeah I, I don't know i think yeah he's gonna start off with the guardians and then something's gonna happen he's gonna go on a little solo journey that's where we that's where he sees mighty thor perhaps yeah. and then all of them team up together at the end to fight gore yeah, and I think that's going to be a really interesting fight at the very end. We'll get to see we'll get to see some pretty pretty good stuff I think Dude. in this movie. I'm I'm excited for it. I have to say this was not I was not excited for this movie at the beginning of the year just based off the name alone. But Dude, after the promotional the material, promo material's been great. After the promotional material, I'm really looking forward to it. So hopefully it doesn't disappoint. You know? Yeah, I heard they almost had to make it rated R because of gore. Really? Yeah. Yo, but it's, it's got not, a lot of like not, when it when it says PG thirteen, it has a lot of stuff that it's rated for. I just haven't read it yet. Yeah, it's also the first PG or actually Marvel movie I think that's PG thirteen for partial nudity because oh, of that one scene. Oh yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's looked too hard. No, I'm, just, I'm I'm pretty sure it's because of that one scene. I think I heard yeah. it somewhere. Hopefully, I mean, if that's all it is, then yeah. But anyway, it's, it's there for it'll be blurred out. Probably, well, I don't know. Probably yeah, not. it'll be blurred out. Well, who knows? Surely. Probably not. I mean, who knows? Yeah, it, it, I mean, it, whoever. No, yeah, whoever. Whatever. It doesn't matter. But at the end of the day, let us know what you guys think. We're excited. If Let us know if you're excited. Uh, and thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.